A protective order is a piece of paper, and so there are a lot of people who will sit there and say, you're right, it's a piece of paper, it can't protect you. But I think it does protect you because of a couple of reasons. One, there's, doc again, back to the documentation issue, there's documentation, a court, a judge has seen this and said, yes, there's enough to establish that this person is a danger or a problem to this other person. I mean, and, some, and, and many people it does work with. Many people don't want to go to jail again, and so they will, in fact, abide by it. Um, so I do think they're, they're, I think they're important. I think they need to be utilized. And I think that if a person is in a situation where they uh, warrant a protective order because of the occurrences that they're being victimized, they're being stalked, they're being harassed, whatever the case may be, and it's applicable, they absolutely should go get a piece of paper. It puts the court on notice that this person is dangerous, it puts the police on notice this person is dangerous and is a problem, and it can be utilized to document and um, basically build a case, if you will. So I, I absolutely always encourage people, if, if the criteria is met, to get an order of protection.